It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Marks and Spencers and it's a bottle of their Czech Pilsner Lager. Now the reason why I went and bought this is I realise I've already reviewed this beer. But it was before I went to the Czech Republic. Or was it? it was around the time I went to the Czech Republic actually. It was just before I went. And since I reviewed the beer, and went to the Czech Republic. I've been drinking a lot of Czech beer. And I thought to myself, I'm gonna pick this up again. I know it's only been a year, 18 months, two years max since I reviewed this beer. But I thought to myself, I wanna revisit this. I wanna revisit it because I've, I've been drinking a lot of Czech beer and I wanna put it up against some of the other Czech and German beers that I've tried. So it's 5% ABV, especially made for Marks and Spencers, a uh, Bohemian beer uh, from the Re Regent Brewery, one of the oldest breweries in the world, founded in 1379. 500ml bottle, gold bottle cap. It was around two pounds to buy. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. I've actually got a German pint glass here for this. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. The Czechs usually use a more of a kind of like, almost like a British style dimpled mug that they use for their, for their lagers. So beer in the glass, we got a two finger white head, a fantastic carbonation. Region of the middle of the glass. A golden amber in colour. Little bit of haze going on. Little bit of haze going on. It's, well, actually, no, it's just a darker beer. There's no haze. It is no haze. It's just a darker looking pilsner. It's quite clear, actually. I need to go to spec savers. Um, aroma on the beer then. Yeah, this is just wonderful. Wonderful, lovely, big, multi kind of biscuity aromas coming through. Almost, almost. It's quite close, almost a butterscotch, almost like a butteriness coming through. But also, I might be sensing a small, like the smallest amount of, like a little bit of smoked malt that they've used in this beer. It's slightly smoky in the aroma. Poppy, peppery, spicy, slightly herbal aromas coming through. Yeah, it smells absolutely fantastic. Really, really good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, it is slight. There's a slight butteriness coming through here. Quite. Um, maybe it's an older bottle from Max and Spencer's. Let's have a look. Quite interesting. I'm glad I picked it up now because I'm pretty sure it wasn't tasting like that before. The, the 10th, 2024. Yeah, so that's... I would say Supermarket Beer has a year shelf life on it so if you're talking i'm reviewing this mid-march that's the th that's got a seven month shelf life normally as i said beers have a 12 month shelf life when they're fresh on a supermarket shelf so 
I would say that this could could have been sitting on the shelf in Marks and Spencer's for five months. And it wasn't as if I kind of dug through the like to the back. I, I kind of picked it straight up from the front. Of course, they were ro rotate stock. So maybe that's what it was. Picking one up from the front, they've rotated the old bottles to the front, maybe. Yeah, that's really interesting. That's really interesting because it's, it's slightly, it's peppery, it's spicy, it's hoppy, it's slightly kind of herbal. There's, there's some stinging nettle flavors coming through on the beer. There's a nice bitterness on the back end, but there's a definite, there's a slight smokiness coming through in the malt. That's quite nice. It's quite a nice flavour. But, 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 there's a little... I'm sensing... And, and I can't believe I'm saying this from a Czech beer, but I'm sensing maybe the smallest, smallest amount of diacetyl in this beer. I am. No, I'm going with that. I'm going with that. So carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. It's super smooth and slick. Maybe that's what's making me lean towards the kind of diacetyl a little bit. And I mean, it's just a smidge. It's a little bit of diacetyl. But when you get a beer with diacetyl in, it does make the beer smooth and slick and slightly creamy, if you like, slightly buttery. So diacetyl, it's usually, I would say it's usually when they stop the brewing process a little bit too early and they, they package the beer, they stick the beer in the bottle and they send it off to the shops. It's a case of, that there's a little bit of kind of re-fermentation going on in the bottle and that causes, in some cases, the yeast dies and it causes diacetyl in the beer, it makes it slightly buttery. But then again, this has been a la this is a laggard beer. This is laggard. The more I'm thinking about it, the, the more I'm confused by this because this beer would have definitely been laggard the Czech way, which would have been 90 days. It would have been like more or less three months in a tank maturing. Lager means to store. So this is a curious one. I definitely wasn't talking about diacetyl in the first bottle. And I can remember it from 18 or so months ago. I remember, I would remember if there was diacetyl in the beer. I don't remember the beer review as per se, but I would have rem remembered if it had diacetyl in it. Is it enough to put me off? Well, it was, a, I mean, I bought it again. It was, it was one of those situations where I was in Max and Spencer's and I seen it on the shelf and I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna buy that again. I'm gonna buy that again and, and review it again. It was definitely a beer I like. Czech beer is a beer that I love. Um, I'm gonna rate it though, but I'm gonna give this particular bottle a six. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. It just, it's just not meeting the standard of it kind of, that I was expecting really. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.